Meow Meow versus Monkey Class. This is the best of five, guys. Pre-band's getting locked in. We've got Tian Lang, and of course that light Monkey King is gonna get pre-band. That's a very specific pre ban on that Kitian Dashang. That tells me that they know, they've played against each other before, they know what they got, they know what sort of style they like to play. Slamming down Oliver in that first pick, and of course, uh, Meow Meow is really fast to lock in Shizuka Gianna right after that start. Yeah, man knows exactly what he wants here. Monkey Class locking in that 33 speed lead. Ragdoll Juno hitting the table here as well. Meow Meow looking to respond. Hopefully he's going to slow things down just a little bit here. You know, keep in mind this is a tournament. Use up that clock. That timer's there for a reason. And I think he is going to be slowing it down, taking his time here. Uh, we have a, uh, a Kinky hitting the, hitting the table right here. Which is a great response to the ragdoll that was shown there. And I love, I gotta say, Monkey did a great job bringing the Juno in response to the Shizuka and the Gianna. That's a great call. Both these players doing an excellent job countering each other. And of course, you love seeing the Fire Cassandra. I think the Fire Cassandra is a little early, in my opinion, unless he's bringing another like high volatility, high damage unit to wrap up Meow Meow's draft here. But we've got a, uh, um, uh, oh, Jesus. The water oh, painter, his hey name uh, is obviously just gave me Hey Gang. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. And the Josephine is another good one to round out the draft on the side of Monkey God. Oh, now what does Meow Meow want to bring? And looking at potential bans here, Stoic, what do you think they're opting to take out? I mean, if that Gianna's going through, Hagen's definitely going to be the unit to get banned out here. Uh, I think the Josephine's a great pick. Most of these Kinkies are built on Despair. We'll find out if this one's built on Despair, maybe change things, because I think that Josephine hit the table knowing that Gianna might go through. Probably want to let that uh, Kinky through as well. Tessarin's going to get the ban to no surprise. There was a lot of passives on the side of Monkey Class's field here. Hagen is going to be getting that ban, though. Oh yeah, Tessa eats comms like that for breakfast. Yeah, that, a couple really tough choices there for what Meow Meow wanted to ban. I don't disagree with the Hay Gang by any measure, but I do think the Josephine is something to keep your eye on. That's going to be a thorn in his side throughout the course of this game unless he can dispatch it quickly, which I don't think is on the table. Juno gets turn one, goes for a full team strip, and is mostly rewarded sans the Kinky. Yep, that's right. I think he's got to try and put that Provoke down. It looks like the Provoke's going on to the... Uh... Uh, onto the uh, Gianna there. Reset's going out onto Shizuka, which is really, really nice. He has to keep in mind, he has to reset that as uh, the Cassandra, and he ended up getting that reset there. A lot of damage going towards Juno that at the defense break. Which is good. I don't know if the Shizuka got reset there, Stoic. I think it just got the attack bar reduction. I don't know if you saw something I didn't there, but I think Shizuka may still have skills. Quickly dispatch the Juno. Meow Meow already sitting at a 4-3 to three deficit against Monkey God. Was that a violent kinky? Is that what I just saw? Or am I just too tired? I think it was. <laughs> no, I believe, it was definitely I believe a violent you are correct. You yeah, are Yeah, so the correct. only thing that's going to be stunning here is going to be the Shizuka with the third skill, of course, in Gianna. So still, a little bit of value coming out of this Jehosa fine. Still a little bit. And like you saw, we got a brief look. Shizuka does still have skills up. She didn't get, didn't get reset. Now this Josephine has got to do something. Oh, shields come wow. out, saving the Oliver. Let's see how long that can stay. Yep, definitely had to use that first skill to finish off that Gianna. Gianna does drop here, but it looks like we're probably going to be losing this Oliver to everything that landed on it right there. So things are looking very good right now for Meow Meow. Oh, what a great revive from the Shizuka. High value unit. Now Cassandra just takes it off with a little overcommit on that snipe. Meow Meow with a statement first round stuff. Very good first round for Meow Meow. Excellent prep. Everything worked in his favor very much so. So I think Monkey Glass definitely has to try to turn things around. Maybe opt to go for some turn one play style. Meow Meow did phenomenally uh, with uh, all of Monkey Glass's units there. And, and I can't help but think just Meow Meow in full control right now. Uh, he's probably feeling pretty good. Yeah, I would be feeling good after that victory as well, Stoic. I think that that was a good showing. Everything was going his way. He played around volatile units really well, too. That Josephine ended up looking pretty manageable. I'm wondering if Monkey maybe thought he reset the Shizuka and he left it, unless he was just comfortable letting it sit with that stun and risk not getting procced on. But that's in the past. Looking towards round two, we now have our new pre-bans. Ragdoll and Nefties are both off the table. 
I think Nifty's is an excellent pre-ban here. I don't care for the Ragdoll pre-ban. I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't, because I don't think Meow Meow honestly cared about Ragdoll even being on the other side of the field. I'm going to say it, Evan! I'm going to say it! I and know, I, know I knew, I knew so the amazing, Ragdoll just not hate was coming. That great in tournament play. I'll say it again. But, I mean, he might be taking his Holy Trinity here. I think that's a very smart decision for Meow Meow in the second round. He's got the Miles, the Oliver. He can go with the Raccoon. He as well goes with the Shizuka this time. Love the Shizuka. It did really well for him last game. And we had the discussion earlier about who you think has the most devastating violent proc into a third skill. What's the biggest violent proc mm. punish? And I think we both agreed that Shizuka occupies that position. She really does. You violent proc from being stunned up, having third skill up there can be absolutely wild. A lot of effects that yeah. you can put on your opponent, but also the beneficial effects that your team is receiving at the same time. Man, Tian Lang hitting the field here, not looking good for this oh, so Raha. Kind of rough. I think Tian Lang is always a solid pick, no matter what. Oh, yeah. Tian Lang, so good into this considering there's the more there's the praha of course you do get some tangential anti-synergy with your own oliver but hey you know what something's got to give and to be honest if that's it to get the tian lang in play it's not that big of a deal jameer rounding out meow meow's draft you know, I was about to say I would love to see Monkey Clash wrap up his draft here with a Jemaiar, and that's just not going to happen here. Got taken by the Meow Meow. I think Meow Meow's got an excellent draft right now. This, the combination with Jemaiar and what he has already brought to the table I think is very, very powerful. So curious to see what Monkey God's going to be wrapping up his draft here with. Yeah, what does he think he can bring that can contest this whole comp here? Bringing the Juno again seems like a good answer, especially when you're facing down the Shizuka. I'm a little afraid of it in the face of the Miles, though. I think that it's, I, I, I don't think that it handles the damage problem. Let's see what Monkey opts to ban out. If you were in Monkey's shoes, what would you pick? The Miles, man. I think Miles is too insane. But then, then you give him a full working team, and Jemire is able to do so much with that Shizuka. Even the Tian Lang and, and Oliver as well. But Miles is just high volatility right now for his team. And it looks like he's going to be banning out that Jemire. And Jemire was that other unit. The, Jemire is the enabler, which makes everything work so, so well. But that's going to be a lot of damage coming towards Monkey Class. We'll see if he's able to uh, stay alive and endure what Meow Meow is going to be dropping onto the field here. Well, Monkey has a chance to set the pace of the game right here with the Sekhmet. Can she commit? Can she reset the resetter? Yes! Sekhmet proving that she's still uh, in all of her in spirit, in a way. Yep, that's right. Also getting that nice stun on top of that Chungpung as well, so really nice for uh, Meow Meow to be landing that, but of course the heal's going to be coming out, sleeps across the field with the stuns as well. Does go for the skill too, not worried about waking people up when units are stunned up. Nice little despair stun going on top of that Shizuka as well. Great setup from Monkey God. Let's see what he can do to, to to capitalize on it. He's facilitated a lot of damage with that defense break in play. All of a sudden, all of his units feel like damage dealers. Praha, he's deciding what to do. He might have encountered a slight technical error. It looks like he's calling for one of the refs. Um, they'll get they'll make sure they get that connection in play in a second here. Which uh, I would be, you know, with Monkey God, you got time to think, and you can see Chung Pung ready and raring to go for the next turn there too, Stoic going there we go a proc totally unnecessary proc from praha and yet we got a chung pung dishing out that skill three it looks like this game is just accelerating zero to 60 right there stoic and monkey god took it and won yep. walked away with that <laughs> game there was only look at that the game we quick technical break two turns more and it's over and that was it man that's all it took was let's get back to it he chose to go into that shizuka and shut it down right there and that was kind of it i mean shizuka was going to be a unit to cause a lot of volatility for the team. We knew the Chung Pung was going to be following up as well. So it's like kind of writing on the wall situation. Meow Meow read into that and just tossed out of that one. Which is great. You know what? Just just go into the next game. You've got time to readjust. Maybe take a step back and reevaluate the plan. We were both racing for turn one. Let's see what to do. Oh, excuse me. We got repeat pre-ban from round one there, Stoic. What do you think of that? Yep, I think these are great units to be pre-banning out there. We know how good both of them are, especially that Tian Lang. Tian Lang just being probably one of the better LD Nat 5s in this game. And of course, that Light Monkey King being extremely toxic and synergistic with all the control teams that people have been bringing to the table. The Holy Trinity graces the side of Monkey God. Oliver Miles Rakuni. They've really made a, a name for themselves, Stoic, in this whole lineup of SWC 2023.
Yep, they really have. And this is bread and butter for uh, Monkey Class, uh, Monkey God as well, because he has drafted this in the past. It's something that he likes to bring uh, to uh, to ATA, and he's ha he has it right now. So you can tell he's definitely comfortable. He should know everything that comes to the table here. Like this, the ball is in his court, in my opinion. When you've already locked in the Holy Trinity, you know what people are going to be taking here, and he needs to react. These last two picks are so important for Monkey Class. I think the double oracle is a really good way to go with it. The one note that I'd add to the Holy Trinity is just the word consistency. It's like these are just such great units that work well together. Uh, I, the Hay Gang is perfect into the Gianna. One of the all-star units that's emerged recently. I, I, post buff, he is just so good now. Cutting in when you least expect it after you've tried to strip the enemy team. Cleansing and buffing and inadvertently putting your team ahead of the starter of the other team. And of course the wind robo coming down there too, Stoic. Yeah, he went with the Hay Gang, and honestly, I kind of liked that Chung Punk more than the Wind Robo, but I do have a feeling that Chung Punk's probably built on Despair, and we have a Violent Wind Robo. I think he preferred to go with the Violent Wind Robo in its place here, and Leo's going to hit the field. And we know how everybody feels about a Leo when you're playing turn one, so this Leo's probably getting the ban here. Yeah, that's a, just one of those units that can just intercept kind of a force ban, capping everyone's speed to his own. So that also severely limits the damage output of Miles. Uh, and of course, the Wind Robo, too, gets the ban on the side of Monkey God. Here we go. Speed lead on one side, HP on the other. No one at match point just yet. Again, best of five. We got Meow Meow versus Monkey God. Let's see what happens. Monkey God has it. He's got exactly what he wanted to bring to the table here. Let's see if everything's going to be landing true, though. Oh, a little boost to get some more damage in is just what the doctor ordered. Oh, Look at that into a clock. There is a world where Miles can lock down and confirm a kill right off the bat here, Stark. Yeah, with the spare stuns hitting the field as well. That's like best case scenario, it feels where Miles is able to produce so much damage so fast just because of that Raccoon. It almost acts as like a snipe control team you're able to bring to the table there. So crazy yeah. that that happened. Oh, and look at that. I felt that in my bones, Stoic. Watching a Gianna with an active skill three have to look down the barrel of a loaded Hay Gang and choose not to use it. That hurts. Yep, that's right. I mean, that's just how it is. And that's why the Hay Gang's so good up against these Gianna drafters. And We've got a nice Oblivion sitting on top of Raccoon, and that's exactly where that needs to be, and hopefully stays there uh, for Meow Meow's case here. Wow, the double Oblivion feels so oppressive on this team right now. If he could get one on the Hay Gang, he could start using Gianna's Strip, but there's not a lot of buffs that are going to be coming out. Not a ton of damage from Miles. That's the lowest damage I've seen come from my come out of Miles in wow. like years. Praha just able to stay alive right now, really trying to hold on. A lot of damage coming towards Rakuni, keeping it really, really low there. No additional turns coming out of that Tessarian. Praha should be dropping here. Yep, down she goes. I love seeing the emotion from Monkey God when Praha had just a little bit of health left over too. That's something that you, you really benefit from seeing in these regional cups. Back to that huge damage coming out from Miles to lock down the Shizuka. Yep, Shizuka definitely being one of those units that need to be focused out here. What do we say about these violent it procs into skill proc. threes, dude? That is the wild, most devastating. Man. The most devastating oh. procs, Doic. I, I, I can't think of a unit that can proc out of a stun and hurt you more than a Shizuka. Specifically out of a stun. We all know the two-piece from Chung Pung is pretty powerful, but like from a stun, Shizuka can just turn a game around like that. And oh, man, that's so tough. That's so tough. And I, I, want, I wish that I could confidently say there's like a moment where Oliver could have reset her, but I think Monkey God did his best here. He really did. Monkey, Monkey God class, actually, he had it locked down. Everything was totally fine until that one moment of Shizuka violenting and just flipped it completely. It, it happens. Sometimes, sometimes that just goes down. There we go. Meow, meow. Wow. Meow, meow with another point on the board. Crazy. That Shizuka, man, that skill three, I'm telling you, wild. This is why I wanted it so bad, Evan. I wanted this unit so bad, and I was so happy to pick this unit up here at America's Cup when I pulled that Shizuka. I was just, I, I, tears of joy, dude. Tears of joy. I, I didn't wish cry. It were me. But I could have. I could have cried, Evan. God, I wish that were me. The sisters, <laughs> two Desert Queens, out.
What does that say to you? Because when I see a segment getting banned out here, I see a turn one meow meow hitting the field here. Oh yeah, he he wants it. He wants to. He's like, I've got match point. I'm gonna end this as soon as humanly possible, and I I want no cut ins. I want no fast base speeds. He just wants to play this by the book. I actually love that play as a potential like match point here. You you ban out the 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 Sekhmet, and then you're just gonna go full into turn one and just totally deny your your opponent of potentially getting a turn here. So Shizuka is gonna get drafted. Juno is gonna get drafted. You can already tell Monkey Class trying to you know beef up, go turn two, to respond to uh, whatever Meow Meow is gonna be taking to the table here. It's always so funny to me seeing Shizuka paired up with a counter. You know, you pick the Shizuka and the Juno. It's like deal with it find a new way to counter my shizuka because i'm taking the obvious one uh, meow meow considering the more but opts for a very aggressive cigar instead of a sekmet which is so cool sekmet's off the table so you take a different resetter yeah i love the cigar i think that's an excellent uh pick here uh people have been ruining this unit very very fast we have a 33 speed lead already hitting the table as well and it looks like he's gonna i love that take though i think that's a great response for monkey god to take that water you go with the chunk punk as well tian lang's gonna hit the field here this is a little interesting that a tian lang would hit the field but i i don't think there's a world where the tian lang's a bad pick but tian lang does hit the field i feel like we're losing that synergy right now uh you're I, i'm seeing an oliver getting banned out and that turn one you know, trying to capitalize on, on pre-banning out the segment, just not being the, the course anymore for, for Meow Meow. Oh, and, and Tars, that that is a little unexpected. I, I'm hopeful that this doesn't dilute the comp too much because like you were talking about, I think the Tian Lang's anti-synergy actually shines more here than it does as, as a counter to Monkey God. Although picking the Gianna into it might make up for some of that, but the Antares caught me by surprise. Yeah, I think the Gianna is definitely going to get banned out here, but I think this is a great pick from... Uh, okay, ends up not going with it and going with the Ganymede, which is quite interesting. So I feel like if Ganymede's going to hit the field here, we're looking at a speed lead ban on both sides. No! Wow, all right. Hmm, taking down the Shizuka. I mean, if you just won with a Shizuka third skill, I could see why you wouldn't want to play against one. Uh, it, this is a pretty strong opener from meow meow but there's a lot of lasting value from monkey god so let's see how it goes again meow meow match point here if he wins this one he moves forward Ooh, very fast juno looking for full team strips and despair stuns we get one despair stun going out onto the cigar which is pretty big for monkey god class to get that on the cigar big reset from ganymede setting the pace here comes chung pong doesn't have to use skill three can just set up defense oh breaks, God. play it by the book. The despair Meow Meow should be Antares. sweating a little right now. Yeah, he should definitely be sweating here because that's going to be it for the Praha. Monkey God with a great response in this match. You know, it was so fortunate that he got that despair stun on the Ataris early. He just needs to keep the damage back. Yes. And yeah, he's able to do it, man. That is wild. Yeah, this, this proc is not even really something to be concerned about because this Monkey God is so in control. I don't know if you saw that a second ago, Stoic, but the Ganymede came up on second turn. There was nothing to ventilate. He was fully in control. There's nothing to do. That's it. Monkey God wow. tying it up 2-2. Two, two. We're going to a fifth round on the first first match here, Stoic. Yep, that was incredible. Really took advantage of his opponent there. And you know what? This is kind of like what I was talking about with... Um... With Meow Meow, I feel like he should have kept going with that turn one style of play, where his first pick was Oliver. He had drafted the more, and then he took it back. And then Monkey God went and took that away from him. I feel like he should have locked that in, demanded that turn one, and I feel like we may have seen a different result there in that, that round four. I, I agree. I think it was a little bit of a, uh, a doubt, a doubt moment in that draft. You know, he wasn't sure he could take that turn one, so he opted for Tian Lang and for the Antares, which both felt a little too passive to me. Uh, you know, it's so funny saying that about Tian Lang, uh, but it, I would have preferred to see a second speed lead there instead. Most definitely. I, I think Meow Meow should have pushed for that turn one for sure. I think he should have locked in that Water Ryu more and uh, not let his opponent have him. But it looks like we're going to see that Oliver being drafted once again. Potentially, you can see in that Trinity, the Trinity working out so, so well for Monkey God class. And I think that's what he's got to do again. It worked so, so well. And you can't help it. After locking in three units, you, you're in a position where the next two picks... 
it doesn't matter what those next two picks are because you're going to respond, should be responding so more well with your last two picks. Yeah, Monkey God could go more Chung, more Juno, and then we'll probably see a Hey Gang in the fourth slot. Like, Monkey God's got a really good game plan here, but Meow Meow, wait a second, Meow Meow is kind of skewing into the very first round draft here. And historically, granted, limited historic, but like historically, we he won with this draft. Oh, Jackson at oh. home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your Jackson at home is going to be hitting the stage that fire pure vanilla. Uh, it, it's that's interesting. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's not gaining or accruing enough value. Um, I mean, okay, it's just for the attack bar pushback. I'm sorry, it's not for the attack bar gain. I'm, I'm thinking Jackson at home, but not, I'm thinking too much Jackson right now. Uh, this too is this Jackson, is definitely fine for the atta home. much attack bar. Yeah, yeah, too much Jackson, not enough at home. But there's a lot of attack bar pushback. You know, it's been totally justified now, which is which is super interesting. I can't help but say he's just banning out the fire pure vanilla because he just drafted completely into it. He picked, but I feel like Meow Meow right can see it. this coming. Picked right yeah, into picked it. Picked right into it. Yeah, that's so. How fast does Meow Meow lock in the Douglas? A triple revenge, Ooh. Vert. Nice. I love it. I love it. Actually, <laughs> I I wanted to see the Douglas. To be honest with you, if we saw the Douglas, Douglas is 100% getting banned out here. But he drafted into the saying he's banning out the uh, the pure vanilla. This this he is this is a very interesting situation. Yes, he may not. I mean, if if the Verd takes the ban, which I don't necessarily think it needs to, I think you actually need to, you could. It, all right, that's great then. So basically, Douglas Douglas is banned too, right? So the Douglas, yeah, whatever, you know what? Yeah, I'm right there with you. It's like yeah. that Doug, bird if is Douglas basically was there, Douglas, Douglas banned. Same thing. Yeah, I agree. So there completely. we go. So nothing let's lost. see what happens. Let's see a lot on the line. In fact, everything, the tournament future for both these players is on the line right now. When Robo starts and gets doubly revenge. No despair stun is going to be hitting the field just yet. Skill 2 is available. Getting a nice despair stun. Top of that fire, pure vanilla. Skills available with Oliver. Looking to get a big reset. Probably onto that Shizuka. Going onto the Gianna instead. Oh, could you use skill 3 just for the stuns? And I actually that's think that's right. value. That is, that's, that is value town because now he's able to jump back on his opponent. Not getting any defense breaks on top of that uh, Wind Robo. Also, a little bit of healing is going to be hitting the field, you know, with the stun going on top of the Juno as well. Third skill available. I don't think he's going to be using this unit just for these two units, though. No, yeah, and very limited punish, too, with only one stun coming out uh, from the clap back from Juno earlier. And now we just got a couple awkward turns right now. Meow Meow's trying to stabilize. Things are kind of slipping out of the grasp. A little bit. So Monkey God is yeah. slowly taking control. Getting that defense break finally does have that third skill available. I mean, I think it's an okay time to use. I know he's trying to get that uh, Shizuka stunned up, but he doesn't get the stun on top of that Fire Pure Vanilla, though. Yeah, it doesn't quite get there. Here comes Monkey God's this first big swing potential. That Gianna is getting real close to death, and she might even take a turn before it. He doesn't even care. He's like, you know what? I'm going to try to strip it. Came back yep. in. Yeah, Gianna's back with even more health. Now, a little bit of healing from that first skill of Fire Pure Vanilla. Of course, we do have second skill available. Probably going right back to that Gianna with the highest attack bar. Resists are coming up once again, though. Oh, Stoic. Your predictions. Ah, oh, your predictions, My predictions man. are looking pretty good right now, Evan. <laughs> yeah, they're looking pretty good, my guy. I gotta say, I, but Monkey, Monkey sold me a little bit. I, the only, the only factor here is Kinky. The Kinky combined with the Shizuka. Do they have what it takes to slowly bring this back? Because I don't see a super clean way for Monkey God to dispatch that Kinky. What do you think? I mean, that it's definitely going to be the troublesome unit, but I think Juno might be the one to help get rid of that Kinky here. So there's still some damage out there in control. As long as you keep the Kinky stunned up, things are still going to be in Monkey God's favor here. Yeah, maybe maybe you're right with the additionals from Juno, but we'll have to see what happens. Gets the clutch. Wow. Little stun. Oh, and the resist. So now's the time where he can work through that Shizuka and take it out oh. and just make it 1v4. Oh man, look, he's trying to get the damage when he can onto that Kinky as well. Like I said, with the stun up there, he's going to keep pushing that attack bar. That's going to be mm. it there. Monkey God! My I'm just even more excited now. Takes down. My